Welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2, guys. I'm Brim. And I'm Grum. And this is episode 11. What are we doing today? We are building a wither. We're and building killing wither skeletons. Connection killing lost. Wi we're killing wither skeletons. What are we trying to do today? Get wither skulls and destroy the wither. Kill the wither boss. That's right. That's absolutely right. The plan today is to kill the wither boss. Do you know why? You know we after? need the nether star. We need the nether star. All right, guys. I've got some uh, stuff smelted up. It was actually just finishing smelting as the video started there. Um, so really... We've got a bit of an issue with some of the materials. Uh, I think we're going to go with a, and I don't know, I've not done the math on what's best here. Uh, let's see, let's get the steel down on bottom. We'll do a steel head for the, we're making a scythe. Why are we making a scythe? Do you know why we're making a scythe? We need beheading. We want beheading, and the scythe allows us to do what? Behead stuff. <laughs> Behead stuff, and it lets us attack more than one thing at a time, right? It, yep. it works in a three by three. Yes. And we're just going to make the rest out of this, uh, the rest of this out of uh, manning. I think I put a bunch in here, so I think we need one tough binding. Do you know what else we need? No. Uh, you don't know what else we need. Well, that's no good. How are you going to make it then? You're just going to let me do all the work, aren't you? Yep. All right. Two, I hope that's a tough. Is yeah, that a tough? I, I hope that's a tough yeah. tool rod. I hope I didn't just make... All right, let's see. It's a tough. That is a tough rod. Good. We need one more of those, I believe. And then I guess we can uh, see how much of this we've got left. We've got 11, so we'll uh, pour one block. Go ahead and get that out of there. Get these put back up here. Get that poured. Did that go across? It went across. Get that out of there. This out of here. And then we'll go make our scythe. Now, I am certain. Sorry about that. I am certain this is not an optimized scythe. Uh, I am certain that there are better recipes, but this is what I had for materials on hand right now. So we'll just take a look. There's probably cheaper ways to do this than with uh, many. So does that cut it? That cuts it. Clumsy. Uh, wow. Durability is 13,800. Effective durability being 17,2. It only does two and a half hearts of attack damage, though. Well, we'll just have to see. How's that? Hey, looky there. We picked up some achievements, too. Okay, now. Um, there's a problem. Have we found a... Have we found a nether fortress yet? Nope. And what do we need to build with her, boss? Skeleton skulls. What kind of skeleton skulls? Wither skeleton skulls. Wither skeleton skulls. Now, if we don't know where there's a fortress, how are we going to go about getting wither skeleton skulls? I don't know. You don't know? Well, check this out. So we can take, um, somewhere here we should have some, I believe it's the ancient spores right here. And I guess we'll just use the patch over here that we were using for um, the tree growth that we were doing. Uh, what is that now? Mycelium. Mycelium, right. Uh, this will actually spread. We don't really need to use all these, but since we brought them, we'll, we'll use them. Now, if we take, yeah, yeah, I hear you. If we take a bucket of water, uh, does it have to be a stone bucket? I don't think it has to be a stone bucket. Let's grab a... Um, uh, a or barrel, rather. I don't think it has to be a stone barrel. Let's put this in here and find out. If we drop this on here, fill it up with water, it should start bubbling. See how it says transforming? Yes. It is now in the process of becoming what, do you know? Which water. Which water. And do you know what which water does? Nope. All right, well, oh, check this out. If we take which water over here, see so if we've got any, um, mm, there's lots of nasty stuff in there, but I don't actually see, I think I hear, yeah, there is a skeleton. So let's look for the witch water in they get it back out. Now notice that everything in there transformed, including, do you see that skeleton back there? What is he now? A wither skeleton. He is a wither skeleton. Creepers are supercharged, too. The creepers are supercharged. You are absolutely right. So let's break these out so we can actually get in here and see what we got. You got it. There, I, I see a skull. Do you see a wither skull? Yes, you just got a wither skull. I see our first wither skull. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to break. We're going to take a little break from the video here. We're going to do a whole bunch of that where we uh, generate mobs kill skeletons, gather up skulls, and then do you know what else we need to get done? Nope. What else do we need to do to kill the wither? We need to get soul sand. We need soul sand, and we also need a place to, to kill him. So we're going to get some stuff gathered up here. Um, oh, you know what we didn't do last time? We didn't even take a look at our quest book last time. So let's do that real quick before we break. Uh, and I didn't even take care of this. Um, I want to get started. Get that back here. I want to get started on um, the ME system, the E2's ME system. So this is how we get that started with... Uh, Sky stone. And if you look in the background, uh, there are four more crucibles back here, and there's no longer lava under them. Uh, there is now, that is, blazing pyrethium under them. You'll see that they now say they have a melting speed of 7x. So it's, this is what it really took up. We've also, or really took to keep up. Uh, I've also upgraded these um, here. They now have two fuel efficiency um, upgrades in here and two uh, power efficiency. So they're now producing 4x fuel. Uh, I mean, 4x. Uh, power on all of these, we'll see that it's now 48 and 480, so we're actually producing in just these three dynamos quite a bit of power, but the minimum power is now such that it was drinking up a lot of uh, lava, so we doubled our lava production here. Um, so let's take a look at our quest book, because we failed to do that 
in our last episode. Uh, let's see, how many quests? Wow, we have 11 quests with um, unclaimed rewards, so let's get to that. I bet some of them are probably here. There are there are four here. Wow. Uh, okay, the aqueous accumulator. We pick one, either water-infused stone or the reward bag. Guess what we're selecting? The reward bag. The reward bag. Let's come back out here and see what else we have. Um, what is this? Creepy friends. Oh, get an ender pool or pearl. Well, yeah, we've got a bunch of those. So we'll take that. We'll always take free ender pearls, right? <clears throat> this one's get mycelium, and we just saw that we planted those, so we absolutely had some of those. Yeah, we got some more. Uh, where's the fourth one? Oh, witch water, which we just made. So check that out. Oh, and it unlocks a quest somewhere else. Hmm, wonder what we're going to unlock. Uh, if you make witch water, you will get some mycelium, so we'll claim that one. And that looks like everything out of here. Let's see, Sky Farm, nothing here. Tinker Toys, three down here. Ah, yes, we made steel. Oh, we don't, hmm, we can claim that real quick because I made a bunch in anticipation, anticipation, anticipation. I made a bunch, oh, here they are. I made a bunch. We will need a bunch when we get ready to do, um, what's that? Big reactors. Thank you. Big reactors. You didn't say anything, but you helped me remember. Big reactors. When we do big reactors, we will need a bunch of steel, so I had already made a stack. So that's in here. What else have we got? Uh, we have done the obsidian thing, so we're going to get a couple of free obsidian. That works. Always works. Platinum. Yep. We've made shiny ingots before, so we're going to get a free shiny ingot. And obviously, we've made diamonds. Or we've mined up diamonds. Uh, alamite. We can probably don't have some alamite. Okay. Oh, Look at there. Alamite right there. So we can claim that one real quick as well. Claim that. And it looked like that claimed Ardite. Wow, we are knocking out some quests. Cobalt. And I bet the last one is Manny. Which, if we... Here, let's throw this stuff. Oh, I wonder if we lost stuff. Oh, no. I hope we didn't lose uh, ingots that we could have gotten. Because our inventory was full. That would be really bad. I would hope that it wouldn't let you claim stuff. But I don't know that for a fact. That would be very sad. We can go grab the last one by coming out here. We just made Manny, right? Yep. So let's just see what's out here. Uh, there's the Manny. And so I we think we get more Manny from it, too. That would be very nice. We could always use Manny. Look at there. Two more. Nice. Good call. You were right. So um, that leaves uh, Mana Steel. We are not prepared to produce Mana Steel yet. Um, and I guess we're getting Terra Steel, yeah. This is a Batania, but Batania will probably be... We will start Batania very, very quickly after we've got our Ring of Flight. Um, just because they're w my second favorite item being the magnetic ring, the, the magnet ring. Uh, is it called? What's it called? Magnet ring? Mm. Uh, I, th I know it's under if you just type magnet. Yeah, right here. The ring of magnetization. Um, it's four mana steel uh, with the lens, which is also made with four mana steel. So we need eight mana steel to make that. Uh, we'll get on that pretty quickly because I really like that item. So let's just, uh, oops, let's dump our ingots back in here. This is where we've making ingots, so let's dump them in here. All right, back to the book. Let's just go all the way back out and see where we are. We've still got... That's it. That looks like all the quests that we had completed. Nice. We knocked out a bunch of quests, didn't we? And it looks like we're still 94... Oh, that's the, the mana still. So, we need to get that. Storage Wars. Oh, we got a quest here. Ah, barrels. Yes, we did make barrels. Uh, assembly line. We've got nothing here. We've got three here that we can claim. And it's the same three we've been claiming. We'll grab those real quick. Oops. Oh, that's a new one. That one's for... Um, Hmm, what is that? Spiders? Spiders. Kill spiders, yep. Okay. And we got Cowboy Port, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. Mob Hunter, Mystical Blood, nothing completed under there. Thaumaturgy, we've done nothing with. No, no, no. Uh, we should. Let's see. Uh, we just put that away, right? Or do we not have that in our inventory? Sky Block. No, wait. It's a Sky. Sky. Sky Stone Block, and this is Sky Stone. So I'm guessing that's probably four of those. Sky Stone Block. And guys, I, I know that. Uh, my keyboard is really loud in this video. Uh, I've got Grum sitting on the back side of my microphone, so I've got it in uh, an Omni mode so they can hear both him and I. Uh, the bad news is my keyboard sits right between him and the microphone, so it, I know it's really loud for you guys. Uh, let's see. <coughs> uh, it looks like all we have to do is cook a Sky Stone, and we happen to have one of those, so let's go do that real quick. Our um, Workshop table that we built. This one is pre-charged now, thanks to the pre-charger, so it should cook instantly. Where is that sky stone? Blam. Which should finish up this little quest. It does indeed, and that gives us a second one. But it didn't unlock anything else. Hmm. Well, that's really... Uh, I was really hoping that it would open up more stuff in the Applied Energistics section, but it didn't. So uh, we'll have to do some looking around to see what else might do that. And then, obviously... We still don't see anything in For the Hoarding. I, I don't know what unlocks the first question for the Hoarding. I might have to do some research to find that out. So, are you ready to take a break now and kill a bunch of skeletons? Yep. Yeah, okay. So let's take a break. Let's kill... Oh, oh no, no. Don't take a break. 
Did you open the reward bag? Yeah, no, me neither. So let's put away some stuff so that we don't lose anything this time. I'm about half convinced we actually lost stuff. We'll put those. Actually, there's probably already a stack of them up there. We'll hang up these two extra brains. And we will open the reward bag. What do we get? Ah, uh, two more of those uh, sets of crystal things. So we've got those in here. Yep. The first row or the second? What? First or the second episode. Oh, yeah, the same stuff I got in the first or second episode, you're right. Uh, you'll notice these aren't currently running. They're not running. Uh, we actually, our ingot box is basically completely full. Um, and this box uh, was just about completely full until I just smelted down a bunch of stuff. We actually were having storage issues, which is kind of the reason I was looking to get started on AE2. Um, we're actually having some storage issues, and therefore I, I just let these finish, and I don't know if I emptied them or not. Oh, I didn't. So I still got a bunch of stuff to put away. Oh. That could make this a little interesting. So, guys, we're going to take a break here. We're going to kill a bunch of skeletons, and then we're going to come back and see if we can't move forward with killing the wither. The wither boss. All right, guys, we'll be back in just a few minutes. And there's skull number two sitting right over there. Believe it or not, this is the very next batch of uh, mobs that we killed out of the mob trap, so that's very handy. We're now sitting with two. Let's get the mob trap closed back up and go for number three. Hey, Grum. What? Do you know what this is? No. What does it look like to you? What's that in the middle? Um, it's an oak barrel. It's an oak barrel. What's above it? Hopper. What's below it? Hopper. What's to the sides and top of the hopper? Chests. Which means what's happening? Stuff's feeding out of? It's making dirt. It's making dirt. You're absolutely correct. So we've thrown stuff up here. In this case, pumpkins. They're feeding down automatically into our barrel. And as soon as the barrel is done composting, it gets pulled out and made into, uh, or stuck into the chest for us. But we need to steal, uh, we need to steal one of these. You know why? Why? You don't know why? No. Well, that's terrible. So, check this out. What is this? Uh, where's it right here? Builder's Wand. So if we hit the uses on the Builder's Wand, it will show, the, show us that uh, we can actually upgrade the Builder's Wand to a Super Builder's Wand by pouring one ingot of Ardite on top. So look what I have in my inventory. Uh, where, uh, where did... Why do we need the pumpkins uh, then? I just need the pumpkins out of there because I, I, I'm going to have to show you a trick. Uh, I thought I picked up Ardite, but apparently I did not, so let us grab some Ardite. Oh, we also need to talk about this thing right here. Where is Ardite? Ardite. One ingot. So I... Oh, hello, monsieur. Where are... Oh, hey... Take that. So we built this uh, last episode, episode before maybe, uh, but I didn't explain what it was. So we've got a whole bunch of quests coming up where it's going to want us to make a bunch of different seeds. Um, a bunch of those seeds, like it wants us to, um, it wants us to crossbreed up to a lettuce seed. Yeah, we can just for one emerald, we can buy a lettuce seed and skip all the crossbreeding to get a one one seed. Uh, it also is going to want us to make like the red redonorum seed which I think we can also buy in here somewhere. So we can buy a bunch of the seeds, and, and they're very cheap. They're, they're one emerald apiece, uh, and this will allow us to skip a bunch of the crossbreeding stuff, so that's why I built that. Uh, it's actually the quest line, and I think it's in the Sky Farmer. Or, let's see. Oh, we've got a, another unclaimed. I think it's in the Sky Farm. It's going to work its way down. Yeah, right here it is, as a matter of fact. So it's going to just work down through all of these, and then it's going to go, oh, by the way, you could have done this all a lot easier if you just bought a farm uh, market. We're going to go ahead and buy the market right now. And, or build the market, and then we can use it to help us get through some of these other quests. So that's the reason we did that. Now, check this out. So if we go over here, and and FYI, I rearranged this, and you'll see that the um, seared tank is no longer here. It's because I moved it around to the back, and I piped an entire lava drum directly into that thing, so we don't have to worry about hauling buckets of lava to and from anymore. So let's go ahead and get our um, Ardite ingot melting down. Melt. Oh, that's going to take forever. Uh, now, let's talk about, so what did we have to do with it? We had to pour one ingot of Ardite over it, right? So you put it in a yes. crafting table. So what happens if we try to put the Builder's Wand in the crafting or in the uh, casting table? It doesn't work. Yeah, it wants to actually place another crafting table because that's what the Building Wand does. So nothing I can figure out how to do will put that wand in there. So how are we going to pour one ingot of Ardite over the top of it? Figured it out yet? Check this out. If we put the hopper on there, and then toss our, hey, get your, get back up here, here, let's just do uh, this, guess what, uh, guess what, it'll push it directly onto the crafting table, and then we can pour our Ardite ing uh, ingot on here, and we go from having a builder's wand to having a super, da -da -da, a super builder's wand, and what's the difference, well, where the builder's wand would place eight, this thing, I don't have any cobble on me, uh, this thing will place a massive number of blocks, um, matter of fact, let's just grab, here, let's get our, right back in there, and get our pumpkins, back in here. Thank you for the loan of the hopper. Let's grab. We've got a couple of stacks right here. And then check out how many blocks this thing wants to place. It wants to place a huge number of blocks if we'll let it. So it's so much better for some of the things we need to do here coming up pretty quickly. So I thought we'd go ahead and get that knocked out. Now, 
Uh, I guess since we're still here right now, we can run back over here and uh, put the smack down on these bad boys together. Oh, I left our ingot. Let's see, is, are there... Okay, we need to kill the creeper for sure. And we need to kill... Him. And we, there is a... Uh, there are a couple skeletons. Let's kill the witch. Oh, I killed one of the skeletons. That's too bad. Kill him. And I think that leaves a couple of skeletons in there, so we'll go ahead and douse them in witch water. And then see if we get lucky. Come on. Oh, no! Oh, oh, goodness! I think we killed them both in... No... Uh-oh. Hey, come here, buddy. Hey, buddy. No, 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 no. For those of you wondering, we did build uh, armor between the last... Between everything goes wrong and this episode because, hey, guess what? Armor's really awesome when things are punching your skull. So, yeah, that's... that's, that's all. <clears throat> did get a couple more necrotic bones. Okay, guys, we're going to go back to uh, uh, farming and waiting, and we'll catch back up with you in just a few moments. I think that was... A, I just killed one, and I think I saw a pop out here on the ground. Ah, that's number three. That is indeed number three. So we should now have three in our inventory. You know, I almost want to go ahead and try to get six. So that we can be on the safe side in case we um, fail miserably at getting... The Division Sigil is not a 100% drop rate. Um, I'm a little worried that we might not get it the first time around. Uh, you know what? I tell you what. I am going to go ahead and farm up three more just in case. And then we'll be right back. How's that? Okay, guys. So I've dug a hole in the floor and I've dropped in a bucket of water. I, I would actually like to be able to get the uh, mossy on the scythe. And, of course, to do that, I need... I think I've got four mossy cobble over here right now. So I need five more. And this... Uh, well, there's five laying right here. So let's just go get it. Down we go, swimming underneath. That's not really where I wanted it, but that'll work. As long as I don't actually shut off my water stream, that would be really bad. Out of the water, grab our water back, and boom! Now we can just uh, uh, pop underneath these. I don't, uh, see, I placed that this way, right? So this one should already have someone under it. So I'm just going to dig up the rest of these and uh, make a mossy ball and get that on the side, and I'll be back in a moment. So, you know, guys, I may have made a <clears throat> pretty significant mistake. I'm looking at the sign, and I see smite, sharpness, and auto repair on here because I've just added the mossy to it. But I don't actually see a beheading modifier. Um, I was convinced that the sign actually had a built-in beheading modifier like the cleaver does. But if it does, I absolutely do not see it. So, uh, I may actually be shooting myself in the foot here. Um, so, a tool tends, with a gone into it, it's my understanding, a tool tends to get, if a, so like, mossy can go up, the, the, the moss effect. So, it will tend to get... A preference for getting the modifiers it already has rather than getting new modifiers so I, I don't know we may have to intentionally add a um, uh, a beheading here and at some point when we gain another modifier obviously I've used the one modifier that we had to add the moss but uh, I don't see any particular bonus uh, unless it just doesn't show up on the tool I'll have to do some research and, and I'll let you know what I find uh, meanwhile uh, we got those first three skulls pretty quickly but we have not yet gotten a, a fourth skull so I'm gonna do this for a little while longer but not a lot and then we're gonna go try our hand uh, there's actually several skeletons in there right now so I'll tell you what it's just the only problem with dumping this in there are a couple of um, endermen in there Ooh, well so much for that I hate when that happens. We'll just pop this guy. Maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, the, the, oh, what is that? Um, the, your worst enemy in a trap like this where you're manually killing things is a creeper exploding, which is what just happened to us. So, then we pop these three and knock them out so we can get access to the center. Put them back in there. That's the reason I had five is so that it would stay on my toolbar, and then I keep removing it from my toolbar. Not bright. Then we go deal with, uh, where do you go? You better not be over here stealing my dirt. Where'd you go? Uh, he teleported away somewhere. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to give this a, a few more minutes of trying, but uh, really I'm, I'm at most of half an hour now trying to get uh, a fourth skull. We got the first three in probably ten minutes, um, and I've now run a half an hour and haven't gotten a fourth one. So, I'm, you know, random, right? RNG, RNG, RNG. So uh, I'll give this a few more minutes to see what we get. Otherwise, we are headed to the nether very shortly. Be with you in a few minutes. All right, guys, we are back, and we have six skulls. Uh, we actually got them pretty quickly after that last little clip. Uh, got, I had a big room full uh, with one of those... Uh, uh, spawner guys in it, you know, the guys with the spawner in their head, he dropped a bunch of skeletons and they didn't start shooting at me. I was able to get up there and get in there. I got two uh, skulls in that one batch and then uh, not the next room kill, but the one after that I picked up the third one. So we've got six. We're going to head to the nether and what we're going to do uh, is actually build a kill room um, with walls that are three thick. Um, so you know, let's get into the nether here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, we also need to find and or make some silk. Why did I hear a click? Oh, because you're in here and you have my dirt. Uh, why, do, why are you in here with my dirt? Give me my dirt. With my dirt. You didn't drop my dirt, you turd. I guess those fell through at some point. Okay, well, neither here nor there. All right, so what we're going to do, make sure these guys... Oh, 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 oh that's not good. I accidentally shot you. Yeah. The good news is this crossbow will put those guys down in a hurry. So I was shooting at the uh, wisp, which decided to shoot at me. Uh, come on, boys. Let's get this over with. 
So someone asked me about the stats on If we take a look at this crossbow, you will see that the attack modifier on this thing is 97 hearts worth of damage. Yes, that is why I build the, the signal on, you see that right there? 97, 97 damage. And then we add in the, um, what's the, another four and a half. So it's over 100 damage um, for this bow. Yeah, that's that's the reason I build the signal on crossbow, because it is a beast. Okay, I think that's all of the, uh, go ahead and pop these guys, just get them out the way. That's all of the pigmen in the area, so hopefully they will, there's not anybody else standing around waiting to come. So what we're going to do is we're going to build one, two, three, and we're not going to do it here, but uh, then the third row, one, two, three, and then we'll build, so our floor will be three thick, and our walls will be three thick. So, like this. Actually, this will come all the way up just like this. So it's going to take a lot of cobble. So our walls be one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. We'll do the same thing on the other side, and we'll do the same thing for our roof. So for the wither to get out of the room, and this will obviously just be a one by so that we can get in and out. Uh, for the wither to get out of the room, he has to blow up three layers of cobblestone in order to get out and into the relatively soft netherrack. Uh, so we're going to build that room real quick, um, and then uh, find some soul sand. We should be able to dig down at an angle and get, um, as a matter of fact, let's just go real quick. Uh, lock myself in. Let's see if we can hop up here real quick and see some actual soul sand. Uh, we've seen a bunch of the tainted dirt, but I don't recall having actually seen any soul sand anywhere. And that is obviously going to be, you know, this might not be a bad place right here to build the kill room. Uh, it does have to be somewhat, and that's part of the reason I wanted the uh, Super Builders one, so it'll be faster to lay down, uh, you know, three thick walls, three thick floor, three thick ceiling. That's going to be a lot of stone. Uh, having the ability, oh, are we missing a block here? Oh, no, we better go this way. Having the Super Builders wand to help lay that down rapidly will help dramatically. So, um, I don't see, I don't see anything. I'm going to poke around for a few minutes, guys, and see if I can find some soul sand. Worst case scenario, we can go back to base and, and make soul sand. Uh, we don't have to have a lot of it. We only need eight pieces to make two withers. Um, but I'd rather, I'd rather find it, to be honest. Uh, there's another wisp over there. Uh, anyway, I'll poke around for a few minutes. If I find something, I'll bring you back on camera. If not, I'm going to get a room built, and I'll bring you back then, and we'll have us a big old fight. How's that? Haha, <laughs> soul sand. Uh, this is actually that uh, red sand, that heat sand that we were seeing from right up there. Uh, the little lip that goes over to where our entrance and exit at is right up there. And I came around here and looked down. This is this is where I originally thought we might have um, lava. And actually, we don't have lava here. Oh, I can, walk, I can walk on the heat sand as long as I have boots on without getting burned. Uh, we are finally down far enough that, ta-da, there is lava. So we could start pumping lava back to our base instead of using the... Um, Instead of using the uh, crucibles, but for now the crucibles are working. Uh, I'm going to grab a bunch of this sand. I don't really have an appropriate tool for getting, for getting sand, but like I said, we don't need a lot of it. So I'm going to grab this and then follow the cobble brick road over there back to uh, our area where we're going to build our kill room. And then I will see you back here and we will cross our fingers and pray that we do not have another episode where everything goes wrong. Back in just a moment, guys. All right, guys, the faithful moment has arrived. Uh, this thing is actually a fairly massive structure. I, I, I guess I... Just didn't realize how much cobblestone was ha going to have to go into it. I ended up, uh, no, no, that is not really what I wanted. I really wanted some more cobble. Eh, it won't hurt to have it uh, slightly longer than I had anticipated, but I really don't like the fact that it's off up there now. The good news is with the builder's wand, if I can just jump enough to get access to that one stone there, that should take care of it. All right, now I really, I should have put away a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to run back real quick um, and just put away. Anyway, this the thing took a, a tremendous amount of cobblestone. Uh, that is, except for the chamber right down the center, that is all solid cobblestone. And I think I made, I don't know, two or three trips. I think I made three trips, maybe even four trips, back and forth, just filling up my inventory with cobblestone, then coming back, oh, open the door, uh, coming back and using as much of it as I could, uh, back and forth, back and forth. So the ceilings and walls and floor are all three thick. And then um, there was a three by three uh, opening down the center of that for me to wor work in, and I thought, well, that's silly. Uh, that actually allows the wither to come flying directly at me, because a uh, 3x3 three three is more than um, big enough for him to work it. How did that get back in my inventory? This thing keeps reproducing itself. Um, and, and it has the different... It'd be really nice if my pickaxe would reproduce itself and come back. Of course, I guess the new one's technically better than the old one was anyway, but... Alright, so we need those. Um, we need these. I don't know where that came from. I hope, my, I hope this game is not glitching out. That would be really bad. We've invested enough time in this at this point. I don't really want to lose this game. All right, that's kind of a minimum of what we need. Um, we need our crossbow. And we will use it both for um, melee and for... We do have armor on, right? Yep, we've got good armor. Uh, hopefully we will not need any melee damage at all. Hopefully we'll be able to one-shot him with our bow. Uh, but if we have to melee, we will actually melee him with our crossbow. 
So, let's cross our fingers, prepare to do the dirty, and uh, go check this out. I'm a little nervous about doing this. It, uh, it'll either go really well or terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. <laughs> it'll be another when everything goes wrong sort of episode. Uh, yeah, I'm not really surprised to find... Uh, the, the Pikmin, you know, we looked, when we first came into the nether, there were no Pikmin anywhere, but they have started to spawn. So so this is actually, I guess, five thick. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Four thick on the walls. And because I took this three by three and reduced it. Now, the far end down here is obviously big enough for me to uh, put the materials we need in here. All right, so. One, uh, two, three, four. Am I going to be able to yeah, pop up there? All right, here we go. One. Did it? I don't think it, uh, <sighs> can I break it with my hand? Uh, it's, it actually stuck to the wall. I think I can break it with my hand. I, I was able to. Good. Tell you what, let's just go ahead and stick that one there and that one there. All right, guys. I, you know, I'm, I'm actually a little bit nervous about this. Here we go. Uh, three, two, one. Pull it off fast. All right. Do your thing. Do your thing. I think we're far enough away right here. He's going to explode. Oh, yeah. We one-shot at him. Excellent. He didn't even do a whole lot of damage down here. Uh, all right, so let's see. I see no division sigil. Uh, that's really bad. That's what we were afraid might happen, and indeed did happen. Uh, I should have brought some cobble with me. I actually do need to do a little patching up. He didn't do a lot of damage, but he did enough damage that we need to patch up in here. So, uh, I should have marked... I should have marked where... I don't know how thick this is now. So, guys, I should. I apologize. I should have brought uh, extra cobble and my pickaxe with me. It's nice to know that we can one-shot him, though, so there is the power of the signal and bow at work. Uh, look, what is that? Oh, a pigman down there. Uh, let me go grab my pickaxe. Let me grab some more cobble so that we can repair that, and hopefully... Uh, was that... That's just another regular, regular netherrack. Hopefully we'll get the, defi the division... The division! Refer, refresh, refresh, refresh. Hopefully we'll get the division sigil on the second time I go around, so give me a moment, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, we are reloaded and ready for our second attempt here. I think I got everything. So he had essentially blown out this entire first layer, but there were, still, there were still two layers of rock back there. So that's actually pretty good. We'll do one, two, three. We'll hop up here and place our skulls. One, two. We'll hop down, place the last one, and get ready. Here we go. Back to our first layer. Turn and run down here to the other end of the hallway, and hopefully we one-shot him again. Come on. You can do it. And he is down. We did indeed one-shot him again. Is there a division sigil here? Oh, still no division sigil. All right, guys. Well, that's going to mean, um, unfortunately, that's all the skulls. Wait, wait, what was that? Did we pick it up then? No, there, I guess it was cobblestone laying over here. We still did not get a division sigil. Uh, we have to have a division sigil to move forward with what we wanted to do. So I suppose I'm going to, uh, off camera, you've not seen me do this twice. Uh, you'll see that as scary as the uh, wither might be um, in some flavors of Minecraft, if you can big, uh, build the signal and bow, the signal and crossbow, uh, he really can be put down pretty quick. Um, so he's really not much of a threat for us at this point. And that's, uh, I suppose, just we leave with, uh, yeah, we still got two thick there. So one, two, and three. So everything needs to come back out to that level. So we handled him pretty squarely. Uh, I'm going to kill him. Uh, I start to say at least once more. I'm going to kill him until I get a division sigil. We have to have the sigil uh, to move forward. So it's really not even a matter of how many times. The answer is however many times it takes. Um, so I'll do that off screen. Uh, we've done this together a couple times now. So there's really, I don't think, any need for uh, rehashing it over and over. So uh, I guess we'll pick up right there with our next episode. I, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Guys, just a little follow-up from the Oh, hello. Ding. Just <laughs> Sorry about that. Just a little follow-up from the episode. Uh, I actually killed the Wither Boss uh, four more times. And was getting really frustrated because I, I was not able to get the, the division sigil. And then the last time that I killed him, uh, time number seven, I believe, I shot him with my crossbow, but I did not one hit kill him. And I had just gotten in the habit of standing right beside him. Uh, the, the wither, the initial wither effect was not really enough. With my armor, was not really enough to harm me particularly bad. Um, so when I shot him and I didn't insta kill him, I ended up punching him. Um, with my crossbow, and when he died that time, he did indeed drop the division sigil. So I, I went and did a, some quick research, and it turns out um, that apparently if you one-shot kill the Wither Boss, he will not drop the division sigil, or if you kill him with a, a bow, he will not drop the division sigil. So we will have to uh, look for more efficient ways to kill him uh, in the future if we if we need additional division sigils. The division sigil's got 200, I think, 256 um, uses. It's got a number of uses, uh, we'll, which will probably be all that we need. The, about the only thing we would use it for is... Uh, uh, the creation of unstable ingots, so probably won't need another one, uh, at least not anytime soon, but I did thought I would come back and, and make you aware of that. I wanted to make you aware of that. So, all right, guys, I'll uh, see you in the next episode. Thanks, and have a great one.